so in this session we'll be going to discuss about convergence test first one comparison test comparison test now let a k and summation b k are two series with non negative terms series with non negative terms and suppose that a1 less than or equal to b1 a2 less than or equal to b2 a3 less than or equal to b3 etc ak less than or equal to bk that means each term each term of series ak is less than corresponding each term of series bk now the comparison test says if the bigger series that means series bk is converges then the smaller series smaller series summation ak also converges bigger series converges then the smaller series converges and if the smaller series ak is diverges smaller series summation ak diverges then bigger series also diverges now let's move on to some exercise problems means examples first example use comparison test to determine whether the series converge or not so the question is summation k equal to 1 to infinity 1 by 3 raised to k plus 5 1 by 3 raised to 5 uh, 3 raised to k plus 5 now we have 3 raised to k is less than 3 raised to k plus 5 1 by so which implies that 1 by 3 raised to k is greater than or equal to 1 by 3 raised to k plus 5 so series k equal to 1 to infinity 1 by 3 raised to k is greater than or equal to series summation 1 by 3 raised to k plus 5 so it's a bigger series summation 3 raised to k a bigger series and this is a smaller series given 1 by 3 raised to k it's a harmonic series it means it's a geometric series with common ratio r is equal to 1 by 3 geometric series with common ratio r less than 1 modulus of r is less than 1 which implies that the series is convergent modulus of r is less than 1 implies series 1 by 3 raised to k is convergent so if the bigger series converges then the smaller series also converges using comparison test which implies that the series 1 by 3 raised to k plus 5 is convergent now move on to the next problem check whether the series summation k equal to 1 to infinity log k by k square log k by k square is convergent or not okay so given log k log k is always less than root k log k is less than root k so log k divided by k square is less than root k divided by k square series log k by k square is less than series root k by k square that is 1 by k raised to 3 by 2 1 by k raised to 3 by 2 so it says it's a geometric series geometric series oh it's a p series with p is equal to 3 by 2 this so a p series uh, with p is equal to 3 by 2 is convergent p series with p is uh, greater than 1 that means p is equal to 3 by 2 it's it's a convergent series so if the smaller series uh, convergent uh, if the bigger series convergent then the smaller series also convergent so given this series this p series is uh, convergent series which implies that the series summation log k by k square is also convergent series
Now, next example. Check whether the series cos k by k square is convergent or not. Cos k divided by k square is convergent or not. So, given the series uk, given uk is equal to cos k divided by k square. So, we know that the series 1 by k square is a p series with p is equal to 2 is convergent series 1 by k square k is equal to 1 to infinity is convergent so it's a convergent series and cos k has maximum value is equal to 1 that is minus 1 less than or equal to cos k less than or equal to 1 which implies that cos k cos k divided by k square is less than or equal to 1 by k square for series cos k square cos k divided by k square is less than or equal to series 1 by k square. So the bigger series converges, smaller series also converges, which implies that the series cos k by k square is convergent. The series is convergent. Now move on to the next problem. Uh, does the following series converge? Question is, this given series is convergent or not 8 plus 2 by 7 plus 1 plus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 3 factorial 1 by 4 factorial 1 by 5 factorial etc so uh, let's uh, ignore the first four terms given first to four terms 1 2 3 4 up to here so let it be some uh, arbitrary number say k or, or let it be L. So the given series is L plus series 1 by 2. So 1 by 2, 1 by 2 plus 1 by 3 factorial plus 1 by 5 factorial plus etc. So this is 1 by n factorial. One series is 1 by n factorial. 1 by n factorial n starting from uh, 2 to infinity n equal to 2 to infinity 1 by n factorial so first term 1 by 2 factorial that is 1 by 2 plus 1 by 3 factorial 1 by 4 factorial etc l is equal to 8 plus 2 by 7 plus 1 plus 1 by 2. Now L is a finite number, so uh, we L is a finite number. Now we just wanted to check whether the series one by n factorial is convergent or not. So as you all know, n factorial is always greater than or equal to two raised to n. For n greater than or equal to, uh, for any number which is greater than or equal to two. Uh, 2 factorial which is equal to 2 2 raised to 2 4 2 raised to uh, 2 factorial uh, 3 factorial which is equal to 6 uh, 2 raised to 2 uh, 2 raised to 3 so which is uh, n factorial is always greater than or equal to 2 raised to n which implies that 1 by n factorial is less than or equal to 1 by 2 so it's a geometric series with common ratio r is equal to 1 by 2. So modulus of r is less than 1, less than 1 implies series 1 by 2 raised to n is convergent. 1 by 2 raised to n converge. So if the bigger series converges, then the smaller series also converge which implies that series 1 by n factorial.
factorial is converged. Set convergence series. Is converged. Okay. Now this series is converged plus L plus a finite number again. So the entire series is converged, which implies that. 8 plus 2 by 7 plus 1 plus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 2 plus etc. up to infinity. This series is convergent. Okay. Now move on to the next problem. Check whether the series n by 3n plus 1, the whole race to n is convergent. Okay. Using comparison test. Using comparison test, check whether n by 3n plus 1 the whole rest to n is convergent or not. Now v1 un is equal to n divided by 3n plus 1 the whole rest to n. Now which is less than n divided by 3n the whole rest to n. Since 3n is less than 1 by uh, 3n is less than 3n plus 1. 1 by 3n is greater than 1 by 3n plus 1. So n by 3n is greater than or equal to n by 3n plus 1. n by 3n is greater than n by 3n plus 1. So the whole raised to n is also greater. Okay. Now, which is equal to n n get cancelled series, which is equal to one by three raised to n. So given series n by 3n plus 1, the whole raised to n, and varying from 1 to infinity, n is equal to 1 to infinity, is less than 1 by 3 raised to n. Series 1 by 3 raised to n. Series 1 by 3 raised to n. Less than. series 1 by 3 raised to n. So it's, it's a geometric series with common ratio 1 by 3. R is equal to 1 by 3. It's convergent series. Series 1 by 3 raised to n is a, is a convergent series. Which implies that if the bigger series converge, smaller series also converge. Using Comparison test. Comparison test. Series n by 3n plus 1. The whole raised to n is, is a convergent series. N, n running from 1 to n. 1 to infinity. N running from 1 to n. Now next problem, uh, series 1 minus n divided by n into 2 raised to n. So uh, this series can be rewrite as series 1 by n into 2 raised to n minus n by n into 2 raised to n, which, which is equal to series. 1 by n into 2 raised to n minus series n n get cancelled 1 by 2 raised to n. So this series is it's a geometric series 1 by 2 raised to n geometric series with common ratio common ratio equal to 1 by 2. So it's r is equal to 1 by 2 it's convergent. Now, 
this one. You need to check whether this series is convergent or not. One by series or, or one by n into two raised to n it is always less than or equal to one by two raised to n. Since n into two raised to n is greater than two raised to n, less than or equal to or greater than two raised to n, one by n into two raised to n is less than or equal to one by two raised to n. So this series is convergent. Convergent. So bigger series converge, the lower series also, smaller series also converge. So a series one by n into two raised to n is convergent. This series is convergent. So given this series is convergent and series one by n into two raised to n is also convergent. Both the series are converged. So converges to say some finite number is if it converges and converges to some number s2. So if it's s1, s1, s2, then this series, the given series 1 by 1 minus n divided by n into 2 raised to n is also convergent and converges to s minus 1 minus s2. So this series is convergent. 